Hello everyone, Angela O'Hare here, your favorite Las Vegas realtor, and I brought Damien Bartender, sidekick, with me today, and we're over at a brand new community that just opened up in Sunstone called Australia, Estrella at Sunstone by Woodside Homes. They just literally opened up. They probably had been pre-selling, I don't know. Um, actually, she said like two weeks ago, yeah. There's three different floor plans in this community. Two of them are modeled, and it's an all-single-story community, which I love. Um, it is a gated community. So we're going to take a look at the Vela Plan 2, which is 20, 20 square feet with three bedrooms and two and a half bathrooms. Price starting at $469,990. They have three different elevations to choose from, which is your modern Spanish, your modern regional, and your western regional, which is kind of interesting. Um, so this is gonna be interesting. It looks like the garage is also 22 inches deep, which is good to know because a lot of clients that we sell to like to have those large oversized garages. Now they have 20 inventory homes, meaning that from now until July or August of this year, they will be ready to purchase. So all options have already been selected on them. Currently now for this month, they have two homes available and they're the smaller floor plan at 1788 square feet. And then they will release two more next month and they have four dirt lots if you want to build from ground up. So as you walk in, you're greeted with these high, high ceilings. Love these floors again, beautiful floors. To the right, you're gonna have, it looks like two bedrooms. And we'll just go here first. They look like decent sized bedrooms. So this is a, only a three bedroom house. Love the tall ceilings. They went extra with the upgraded can lights and the uh, pre-wire for a ceiling fan. So when you pick your dirt lot options, you're gonna pick your own structural options, you're gonna pick your flooring, you're gonna pick your countertops, your electrical package, your um, appliance package, etc. But when you buy a move-in ready home or something that's gonna be moved in sooner than later, then you don't have that opportunity to pick your options. They have already been selected by design team. So there's pros and cons to that. Now in this market, in my opinion, I think it's better to buy one of these move-in ready homes or homes that will be ready soon rather than building from ground up because of the discounts you can get with them. Even though this community opened up just two weeks ago, they are having slashing prices. So it's you can get some really good sales and if you use their in-house lender you'll get two percent um off towards the base price or no off of the total price so this one has the beautiful um light wood brown shaker cabinets this beautiful looks like quartz never seen that before um so this has been upgraded i love the wall texture i think they call this a santa fe Typically, when you buy woodside homes, you have an option of selecting the rounded corners or straight edge. So they went the more traditional route here with the shorter three-inch baseboards and the rounded corners. Um, it is an upgrade to select this type of wall feature, and it is an upgrade to switch it to the square feature than it is the rounded. Kind of interesting. I've sold quite a few woodside homes, so that's what happens. I like this little linen closet. And then you have your third bedroom right back here to the front of the house. They're all decent size bedrooms with a queen size bed, two nightstands and a dresser. So perfect. And also a decent size long, not decent size closet, not too long. They bought this mirror from Target. I have it in my entry. <laughs> um, so let's see what else. The, they have a flex space office area, three and a half baths. Oh no, this is the wrong floor plan. All right, let's see what else they have in this one. Oh, you have an option of making the garage 24 inches deep. Whoa, that's really big. 20 feet, 24 feet deep. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Um, and then you have another half bath here. I think normal is 20 to 21. Yeah. So standard here comes 22 feet and you have an option to make it 24 feet, which is nice for storage purposes and those of you that have the large cars. 
Now, when you buy new construction, and especially in this laundry room, one, the washer and dryer doesn't come with the house, and two, these cabinets and sink don't come with the house, unless you buy one of those move-in ready homes where that option has been selected. This is an added feature, an added upgrade that you will have to pay extra for. Now, for me, these can be done later on in the future. I would get it either the sink or the pre-plumb for the sink because everyone loves having a sink in their laundry room. Mm -hmm. I don't know why. <laughs> I never hardly use my sink, but a lot of people like to wash their laundry, especially if it's really soiled in the sink, etc. Wow, this is nice. Wow, this is huge. The very tall ceilings. Let's see what this is right here. Cool. So this is the flex space. This would be a perfect YouTube studio. Yes. A combination of YouTube studio and office all in one. Mm -hmm. I like this. Or if you were into that, this could even be another like workout little area too. True. True. I mean, this is a good floor plan. Mm -hmm. This feels very good. I really like it a lot. Look at this oversized island with the, the double um, counters. Mm -hmm. Our cabinets can't speak today look at this large island the beautiful pendant lights the um, cook not whatever that's called see I can't speak we've been doing a lot of model home tours today so my and we were with a client earlier so I'm like my brain is kind of dead the built-in oven with a microwave and then the pantry now these model homes like this glass door Maybe an upgraded feature probably doesn't even come as an option list. A lot of times, especially Toll Brother homes, they like really, really upgrade their homes that like, wow. Um, so like this backsplash would be an upgrade. These look like GE profile appliances. So they'll have different appliance packages. They'll have different types of cabinets to choose from. You'll go to the design studio. These are very cheap, generic cabinets, but they're still a pretty color because these don't do the soft clothes. And it looks like they went with the basic sink that comes with the community. This is an upgraded feature. So we will also have um, an option to upgrade your electrical package. And that's one area I highly recommend you don't skimp on. I would make sure that every room is pre-wired for a ceiling fan. In most model homes, the the this room, what's this called? The great room and the primary will have the pre-wire for the ceiling fan. All the other rooms will be extra. But m oftentimes it's harder to get it after the fact because sometimes that electrician is a lot of money. Another thing with the flooring is the whole house is gonna come carpeted except for your wet areas, your entry, your kitchen, your laundry, and your bathrooms. If I were to spend money, I would spend it on the flooring. And if you wanna be a little budget conscious, I would only keep the carpeting in the bedrooms and everywhere else be harder surfaces just because it is a pain in the butt to change out your flooring once you've moved in. And I don't think it's any cheaper than if you were to go with the builder. I would imagine that this extended kitchen is extra option or upgrade as well. So they say expect to spend another five to 10% on top of uh, your base price for upgrades. So this home is $469,990 base price. You may put another $100,000 into it. So this has the two double um, sliders. I'm not sure if it would be an option for you to get one large giant slider or if this should be a window and that's a slider there. Sometimes it works out that way. We'll go in the backyard after we've toured the uh, primary suite. So the primary suite has the four can lights and I highly recommend putting as many can lights in the house as you can um, because in the future you'll regret it, trust me. And um, it's a good size primary bedroom and it also has, which will be an upgrade, the door to the patio. And then they went with the spa-like shower here, which typically would be probably, you could do your tub and shower in this little area. But if they were to do such a large shower, I would have expected a rain head in here. 
but they did the low threshold shower, which is nice. That I like. Yeah. Unfortunately, upstairs in our primary, we can't do it because it's upstairs. I would have gotten, a, I would have liked to have seen a rain shower head here mm -hmm. for that large that really say. Yeah. Then you have a decent sized walk in closet with the standard builder grade fixtures. And then you have a decent sized double vanity. I like that tile background. Mm -hmm. Very pretty. So this is a very good floor plan, I think. What do you think? Mm -hmm. I do, I like it. I like that flex space. So let's go take a look at the backyard. What else did I miss? Oh, HOA. So again, this is a gated community. There's two HOA fees. You have Sunstone HOA of $55 a month. Then you have Estella, Estrella for $45 a month. And total HOA is, how much does that equal? A hundred and, hundred dollars? Yeah, hundred dollars. Yeah, 45, 55, 100 Yeah, hundred bucks. And then the biannually SIDS is $510. So this is a decent size backyard. I like this patio. That's a large patio cover. I have one unit here. Yeah, it's a good floor plan. So to summarize, we're over here at Estrella Sunstone by Woodside Homes, taking a tour of the Vela Plan 2 at 2020 square feet with three bedrooms, two and a half baths, a flex space, and two bay garage, which to me is just a two car garage. I don't know why they would say two bay. Bay, in my opinion, means there's another garage stacked uh, behind the, the, you know what I mean? Like a tandem. This is not a tandem. So since this is the model home, we won't have access to the garage. Um, let me know in the comments what you think of this floor plan. I really like Sunstone Master Plan Community. I think it's a beautiful community. They have Woodside Homes here and Lennar and Shea Homes right now currently. And so they have Luna by Woodside Homes. They have Aria and Arch Archer mm -hmm. uh, by Lennar. And then Trilogy Sunstone, which is a 55 plus active adult retirement community. But most importantly... I sell a lot of new construction here in the Vegas Valley, especially up in the Northwest part. I want you to reach out to me if you're thinking about buying a new construction home. Before you even come look at these models, they need to call who? Angela O'Hare, your favorite Las Vegas realtor at 702-370-5112. Perfect. And most importantly, they need to like and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this. I'm not the type of person that does a lot of model home videos, but I only do it in the areas that I like to cover and sell in because the more knowledge I have, the better I can assist you. Anyway, folks, thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you on the next model home tour. Peace out.